Windows Defender is an antivirus protection that is implemented from Microsoft. It is a decent antivirus protection if you are not going to use anything else. But let's say if you do want to install a different antivirus protection like Norton or something like McAfee. And what happens if Windows Defender is still there in background so you get notified twice or just being bothered on the computer? On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to completely turn off the Windows Defender for all years on Windows 10. To do this, you have to have administrative to be able to turn it off. I would also be showing you how to turn it back on if any cases that you need to turn it back on again. Let's get started. All right, so the first way that I'm gonna show you how to turn off the Windows Defender, it's going to be by group policy. Group policy only works on Windows 10 Pro Enterprise or Edition. So be sure what type of Windows 10 is your computer. Let's go ahead and X out this wonderful Windows Defender. Next, on the search bar, you could have it hidden. Type in gpedit.msc. Once that spin types down, this little icon and the text will open. Go ahead and select it. Next, go ahead and open it, and you can expand it if you want to, and you'll see a list of different locations. The ones that we're going to be going to is Computer Configurations, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and you scroll down all the way until you find Windows Defender. Once you get there, be sure that you look for Turn Off Windows Defender. Go ahead and double click it. Whenever you enable this, it actually turns off the Windows Defender. You will then press Apply and OK. So let's go ahead and X this out. I'm going to go ahead and open up the Windows Defender. And let's click it and see what happens. And here's your message. This app is turned off by group policy. Pretty awesome, right? Now the Windows Defender has actually been turned off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on again that I can show you how to do this through registry. So now let's see if that Windows Defender is back on. And here's the application. It will start running and being sure everything's up to date. But again, I'm just going to go ahead and access out. Now to do this one through registry, it's not that hard. I'm actually going to give you some simple files that you can actually just run them to turn on the Defender or to turn them off. So all you do is you click it and you'll be prompted and press yes. But I'm actually going to show you fully how to do this through registry. So to do this, just go ahead and type in the search and type in reg edit and press enter. Most likely you will be prompted. If it does come up, go ahead and select a yes. Okay, once it gets here, um, go ahead and go to local machine and then software. And scroll until you see policies, and then look Microsoft. And then you'll find Windows Defender. You will need to create a new file. And it'll be a D word, 32. And type in disable anti-spyware. Once you type that in, go ahead and click it. And put the value to 1. Whenever it turns to 1, and then disable the anti-spyware that will be Windows Defender. So let's give it a try. And here it is, the exact same thing that we did through group policy, but now you can do it on regular Windows 10. Let's go ahead and to get this back off again. We're going to do the same steps again. And here's the prompt like usual. 
Be sure you follow the same locations from local to software to policies to Windows Defender. Oh, policies Microsoft and Windows Defender. And then you come back to the same place and put the value to zero. That should also turn on the Windows Defender, or you could also have the options to just delete the file. Either one, they don't matter. Once you're done, let's go ahead and see if Windows Defender is still there, if it's being blocked or not. And here you go, Windows Defender is back on. Thank you for watching for Helton's Computer Repair, and I'll see you on the next video.